Ooh. Ooh, I'm just serving you nothing but face right now. Oh, fuck, fuck me. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short, and I, my hair's tucked up and everything else. Wow, that's nothing but face. God, look, man. Mm, anyway, uh, today, <laughs> today we're going to be reacting to Andrew Schultz roast at the... Well, I don't know if you really want to have a roast at that type of clinic. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, links for the original creator will be down below. I'll be a residential black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's go ahead and start. They're taking away your scoop scoops, ladies. <laughs> Isn't that fucked up? They trying to take away your scoop scoops? It's unbelievable. I just want to let y'all know right now, ladies, uh, I am with you. I think it's your body, your choice. I agree with you on that. 100%. I agree with you when you say that men should have no say in the decisions you make with your bodies. Those are your decisions to make and yours alone. And I feel that way because uh, at the end of the day, when we all go up to heaven and God's like, why are we all killing babies? We're going to be like, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were very clear whose decision this was, guy. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am what you call a uh, pro-life. <laughs> I beg your pardon. So, I am pro-life. I, I am. I look, dog. I, I think whoever. You, uh, that's why I always say, make sure you pick your partners. Good. Hopefully, you pick your forever partner. And everything else so I, i'm pro-life when it comes to stuff like this i ain't got i ain't got to explain shit to no i'm sorry i don't explain nothing to nobody all right that's just my view so i mean when you get up there when you get up to heaven if you believe in heaven i mean you don't go anywhere when you get up to the gates you're gonna have to talk you gotta talk to god about that there you go y'all y'all finished or y'all done i ain't got no more talking Looks like you need to pay for your sins, babe. <laughs> Even though I paid for your sins. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Chivalry ain't dead to that baby is. You know the rules. <laughs> Dark. Oh, uh, uh, man. Yeah, abortion. <laughs> abortion, 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 man. It's a tricky one. When I was living uh, in my old place in New York, I lived down the block from an abortion clinic. <laughs> and uh, uh. location, location, location. <laughs> and no bullshit, that's the wildest place in New York. Like, it's a fucking carnival outside of there every single day. Like, people come to New York and they go to, like, Broadway plays and shit. They'll literally spend thousands of dollars to watch Harry Potter the musical when they could just stand outside the clinic and watch something really disappear. <laughs> Oh my, oh my Jesus, oh my God, oh. Jesus be a oh my, um, wow, <laughs> oh that's so sad, um, um, oh, I, I ain't out, okay, <laughs> Feed us the leaders. <laughs> oh, God. I remember one time I was walking by the clinic and I saw a father and his daughter outside and his daughter looked like she was 10 years old. Now, I beg your pardon. I don't want to divide the crowd politically here, uh, but for me, that's a little late. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, okay, who I didn't know where we were going with that joke. I, I did not know where we were going because I feel like if there's a father and a daughter out there and she's 10 years old, um, the police need to be called because um, why are you why are you out at a clinic with your 10 year old daughter not filing a police report to see what the ex like what actually happened? Because I thought his 10 year old daughter was pregnant. I was about to say what the heck? Where is this story going? <laughs> This is just me. I'm not putting my views on you. 
But personally, I think a fetus becomes a life around the third grade. That, that's, <laughs> I think that's a life. I do believe that's a life, okay? Maybe we could roll it back a few years from there, but definitely if you could spell abortion, we don't abort you. That's just the rule that I have in my book, okay? So naturally, I'm like, yo, I gotta save this girl's life. I walk over, I get a little closer. Turns out he wasn't aborting his daughter, thank God. Okay. Uh, what he was actually doing was protesting the abortion clinic. And I've never seen this shit before in real life. It was crazy. Like, he's like heckling these girls as they go in. You know, he's just screaming at them, you're gonna burn in hell. And these girls are so New York about it. They're like, I just have chlamydia, you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Burning hell, I'm burning now. That's why I'm going to the fucking clinic. <laughs> so I'm watching this go down and I'm torn, right? Because naturally as a man, I want to protect these women, right? But as a comic, I love a rose, right? So <laughs> I'm like, how do I fit in this shit? And then all of a sudden this UPS employee walks into the clinic and I had to. Mm -hmm. I had to. At least someone wants to deliver. It was the right <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> Guys. He got in on it. He was like, same day. It was unbelievable, bro. <laughs> Chemistry was there. Chemistry was there. So I'm standing outside a clinic, right next to this dude who was like very passionate about abortion. I realized I never spoken to one of these guys before. So I'm like, I just gotta talk to him. So I went up to him and I was like, hey man, I don't wanna interrupt your whole take your daughter to work day. I think, <laughs> I think it's great. You wanna spend time with your family. Obviously not everybody here gets that. <laughs> oh, oh shit. I go, buddy, I just gotta know, why are you so against abortion? And the guy looks at me, he goes, I'll tell you what changed it all for me. It's these new sonograms. <laughs> Thank God a few of you guys said, what? <laughs> We're idiots. I didn't even know they upgraded the sonographs. They completely changed the sonograms. It's not like the uh, back in the day shit to look at you and pay your cable. Remember those? <laughs> Remember the black paper with the gray clouds on it? Those were abortable. Let's just be honest, right? Like. <laughs> Doctor hands you that shit like an etch sketch. You're like, not today. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, kiddo. But the new ones are HD, 4D, not 3D, 4D. You could hear the baby like, keep me. <laughs> I'm in here. What are you doing out there? That's not where you hang a shirt. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo, this bit, this bit get me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to... Look. I like, I put it like this, I like comedians who make me feel, who, who, can, who can make a really dub thing very funny to me okay so like i told y'all before i'm not even gonna lie i i'm 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 pro-life i i'm pro-life uh every, uh most of my family is pro-choice so it's like uh it's like a it's like one of those subjects that like we don't discuss a lot so for me as a person, I'm like, I'm pro-life. So, I mean, like, it is what it is type thing. Like, because a lot of, uh, like, I'm pro-life. A lot of the statistics that people say, like, uh, like, the, like, when it's, like, non-viable and all this other stuff, that's, like, a low percent for me. And the rest of them is just, just they don't want to keep the kids. And I'm just like, well homie you 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 roll that dice my like you got to keep it you know that's how i feel and like i we're in america everybody can have everybody can have their opinions and everything else so it is what it is but i i like a comedian that will uh bad i'm gripping my teeth but he funny still so let's go I'm looking at these images, right? And I'm like, man, this is visceral. This is hard to, this is hard to disagree with. And then I noticed all the images he's showing me are from much later on in the pregnancy. So I was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. What about early on? He goes, I don't care. It's killing a baby. I'm like, but bro, it's not even a baby yet. He goes, yeah, but if you leave it there. Yeah. 
yep. it's gonna grow into a baby, so it's a baby. And I was like, you know what? Your daughter's fucking hot, bro. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this guy loses his fucking mind. The fuck you mean my daughter's hot? She's 10 years old, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm like, yeah, but if we leave her there. <laughs> She's gonna grow into a woman, Pops. Are we pedophiles are pro-life, you decide. <laughs> okay. Okay, my position has and I, my position, giggity phrasing, hasn't changed. Look, man, this is a funny bit. This is it is what it is. I love I love stuff that I love stuff that I can I can watch what i can listen to and it's not being it's not trying to be preached at me but i i, I really i really like it i think it's a really good thing um i, I like his comedy i like his stand-up so again i'll leave his link down below um again my name is shay too sweet you can call me shay for short and like my grandmother always says so long hmm, nothing but face in this one I am too